Here I have another function that works on animals called animal dangerous. Uh, an animal is dangerous if it's a tiger or if it's a snake that's more than three pounds. So you can see if A is an animal that's a tiger, we always return true. If it's a snake, we return true when its weight is greater than three. So it should be the case that animal dangerous of tiger orange 12, that should return true. So we could run this program and double check that and we could try out more things down here. But uh, really in the long run we want to keep, keep this information that this should produce true and turn it into a test case. And the way we do that in plate is by using the test form. So test is built into plate as uh, a way of writing test. Now when I run the program um, it says yes this test passed whereas if I had a bug in my program so that I return false for tigers then when I program, run the program it says bad. Uh, often if your tests are all passing then you don't want to see all the goods, you just want to see the bad. So there's a declaration that says print only errors uh, without the question mark um, and that will cause plate to be silent if the test passes whereas if the test uh, does not pass then we do get a uh, red error out. So again, print only errors too. You'll probably want it that in most of your programs. Um, let's see, so let's fix this bug. Uh, what if we wanted to put the test before the function? So right now we can't. Um, and uh, you see it says uh, animal dangerous undefined. That's because we can't actually run this test until after we define things. You can have uh, you know, mutually recursive functions, functions that refer to each other in any order, but you can't actually call the function until uh, after it's defined. We can solve that problem by using a test submodule. So a test submodule uh, is a way of saying that we're going to have some tests that are effectively run at the end of the program. So things all work now. So you'll generally want to put your, your tests inside of module plus test. Um, and then we can have multiple tests here, so we can check that orange tigers are dangerous and also white tigers, even if they have zero stripes, uh, those are still dangerous as well. But I don't have very good coverage of my program here. You notice I haven't tried any snakes. We can get Dr. Racket to tell us about this problem with our program by going into language, choose language, show details, and selecting syntactic test suite coverage. When I do that and run my program again, then you see that the program turns black and also uh, this bit of code is all highlighted here. And what this means is when I ran the program I did never I never evaluated this expression and I never matched against these variables here. So if I add a new test animal dangerous snake, green, five, rats. Uh, let's see, I need test and then is that, a, is that a dangerous snake or not? It's more than three pounds, so yes. So now when I run my test, um, run my program, all those tests run and I don't get any highlighting. That means I have complete coverage. Doesn't necessarily mean I have completely good tests because really I should have a test for a non-dangerous snake but syntactic test coverage is at least a useful metric and so it's built into Dr. Racket and you'll probably need to use that to make sure that you have sufficient, sufficient test coverage uh, for your homework assignments.